Last month, I released a free add-on for Blender called LensCap. It adds more functionality to the camera system. It gives you a list of cameras where you can automatically select which one should be active. It enables depth of field options, even if you don't have the camera selected. And my favorite feature is the ability to sync the viewport visibility with the render visibility. So this object at the moment, if we render this out, it wouldn't appear in the render but it's still visible in the viewport. So if we turn sync on, it now disappears, right? So that works pretty well. But one of the most requested features that I had for this add-on was the ability to have some sort of autofocus. In general, that's just one of the most requested features in Blender. So I had a crack at implementing that. And it was more difficult than I expected it to be, but I've kind of got something working. So if we turn on depth of field here, and we set this to something really low, like 0.1 f-stop, you can see we have this autofocus. If we turn this on, it automatically sets the distance to 10 meters. It does that because the middle of the camera right now is pointing at nothing. And rather than defaulting to zero distance, which would make everything just white, essentially, I've set this to default to 10. But if we move the camera around, you can see it's now focused in on this box. It's reading an average distance of 16.6 .6 meters. And that's what it's set as the focal distance up there. And if we move over to here, you can see that it's now updated that to be twice as far away. Now, one problem that I realized straight away with this is that it's too immediate, right? As soon as the focus changes, it changes over here. The best camera operator in the world can't do that. The best autofocus in the world can't do that. Not only does it not look natural, but it means if an object passes in the middle of the screen, it's gonna change immediately what the focus distance is, which is not what you want. So I added in this buffer system here, right? It's set to 20 at the moment. Let's just change this to 10. And now if we move between two different distances, it will actually take a while to change the focus. And I'm going to change that just to five. So it does it a little bit faster. And you can see it's pulling focus over about five frames there. It averages out over the last positions. So that works pretty well. But one thing you want to take into account Let's just add some keyframes here. Let's put one there and one there. We'll copy these a few times like this. Right. If you're going between positions, one thing I realized is let's say you rendered to frame 100 and then you came back the next day and you start at frame 101. It would no longer be using the distance of the previous frames, right? So the way that you fix this, if you want to render out re animation, if you're happy with everything, just make sure you click this big focus keyframes. Now you can actually turn these off if you want. They're not necessary. You do need to make sure depth of field is on though. And if we play this through, it will automatically make the focus changes for us. Obviously, if you make any changes to the animation, you just want to clear those frames. And then let's say we move this around rebake the animation but make sure everything's turned back on first otherwise it won't do it properly rebake the animation and that should work fine it looks a little bit jittery there that's just because it's trying to do it in the viewport it works fine in the render so this add-on and the update is completely free if you would like to donate something that would be very much appreciated people keep sending me like the five dollars and things for all of my free add-ons i really appreciate that a lot you can also save 40% on all of my courses and all my products until the 4th of May on Gumroad if you use the code EASTER at checkout. So if you pick this up and you decide that you would like to buy one of my courses like the Interior Masterclass or the Exterior Masterclass, then you can save 40% using the code EASTER. Hope you find this useful, guys. If you find any bugs, which I'm sure there's plenty of them, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll try and fix those as quickly as possible. I really hope you find this useful. It took me a lot of work.